coming up on this week's news. No smart meter, no MCS certificate, but still this homeowner gets cash for power under the smart export guarantee. We reveal how it's done. The MCS warns the trade over fake alerts for solar panel jobs and police arrest two men over the electrocution of a two-year-old at a fun fair. Welcome to Electrical News Weekly, whether you're listening in the van, on site or down at the wholesale counter. I'm Joe Robinson and I've been through the best of the electrical industry news to save you the trouble. And if you think you've spotted the two words that I've been challenged to slip into this week's show, comment with them below for the chance to win a prize. A UK householder has discovered that you can be paid for export power under the Smart Export Guarantee without a smart meter and without MCS membership. The story begins when electrical expert Griff Thomas installs a single-phase 30 kilowatt photovoltaic array on the roof of his property in the north of England. It ends up producing much more electricity than his family needs, so he wants to export the surplus power and get paid for doing so. But he has two obstacles to overcome. First, his installation isn't MCS approved. For this reason, energy company Ovo turns down his application for the Smart Export Guarantee. So Griff seeks out the original rules for power export set by the watchdog Ofgem. There, he makes a remarkable discovery that MCS certification isn't necessary. A clause in the rulebook allows for what's termed equivalent schemes to the MCS. This is defined as programs accredited to EN 17065. Griff says the relevant clause is hidden like you wouldn't believe. As all competent person schemes are accredited to this standard, he simply employs a contractor who's a member of such a scheme. In fact, anyone who's a member of an assessed and competent person scheme and taking on work relevant to their competency is accredited to ISO IEC 17065. In the end, OVO accepts the argument and approves him for the Smart Export Guarantee, but a second barrier remains to getting the cash a problem with his meter. Like many smart meters in the north of England, it's not talking to his energy supplier. That's because the radio technology used in the north is notoriously patchy. So without a means of metering the exported power, it looks like Thomas was back to square one and wasn't going to get paid for his power. But then Griff returns to the law books. There he reads that in fact you don't need a communicating smart meter to get the money. The wording of the legislation requires merely that a meter can read energy at half hourly intervals. It doesn't need to communicate in a smart way. Again, Ovo accepts Thomas's argument. They agree that he can read the meter every month and send them the information. And now that's exactly what he does. And he gets paid for the privilege. 250 quid is his latest payment. Griff Thomas is believed to be the only person in the UK who receives payment this way. He came into the eFix studio earlier this month to tell the full story exclusively to eFix. I've put the link to that in the show notes and it's a hard recommend from me. Great show. What a tale. Enough to rival that of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. In further MCS news, it turns out that scammers are imitating the organisation and creating panic among householders with solar panels. The scammers are sending out text alerts stating that their solar warranty has expired and asking them to call a number provided to get it renewed. The sender ID shows up as MCS, but MCS executives say it's all fake news. Their text is not from MCS and the phone number is not linked to MCS in any way. The fraudsters are also making phone calls and sending emails claiming to be MCS. They offer maintenance packages and warranty packages by falsely claiming that the customer's guarantee has expired. MCS says the trade should be aware of the scam, which it's now reported to Ofcom and the National Cyber Security Centre. In other news, two men have been arrested and charged with involuntary manslaughter following the electrocution of a two-year-old girl in Spain. Amira, whose surname isn't being disclosed, was fatally electrocuted while bouncing on a funfair trampoline in Mercia. She died after touching the metal fence surrounding the attraction. Paramedics fought desperately to resuscitate her for half an hour, but she was declared dead at the scene. The two men, believed to be the owner of the trampolines and one of his employees, have been provisionally released pending the investigation. The focus of the probe is a grounding failure that may have allowed current to pass through the metal railing where the children were playing. The judge has asked Mercia City Hall for all the documents relating to the installation, including safety certificates, technical reviews and permits. Meanwhile, here in the UK, four people have been hospitalised after receiving electric shocks on a funfair ride in Wigan. Police, paramedics and fire crews were called to a funfair on the Meadowbank playing fields after reports of suspected electrocution. The ride was closed to the public and a scene was established whilst emergency services dealt with the incident. The police said that the risk to the public has since been mitigated. The organisers of the event have yet to comment. 
The government has announced a delay to the switch off of RTS meters. Originally, the signal which tells radio teleswitch service meters to flip between peak and off-peak tariffs was due to be turned off this week, but fears that homes and schools would be left without hot water and heating led to a government U-turn. A third of a million households still use the ageing RTS meters. Suppliers have tried swapping them all for smart meters before the deadline, but without success. A much more successful play appears to be Octopus Energy's new car and charging package deal. Under the arrangement, householders can get a leased electric car, a two-way charger, and free EV charging for £299 a month. It's being hailed as a breakthrough by EV experts. The company says it's the first bundle to include vehicle-to-grid technology. This allows the battery in the car to power the household and send electricity to the grid. Those signing up will get a BYD Dolphin, a bi-directional Zaptec Pro charger, and access to a smart tariff that offers free home charging. V2G, as the tech is known, transforms electric vehicles into batteries on wheels, allowing them to charge when electricity is cheap and send it to the grid at peak times when electricity is expensive. That news gets my inner man-child very excited. Now, welcome to our Electrical News Weekly feature where we focus on a specific product area. This week, we're going week for wiring accessories. First up is a whole new concept, a plug-in type socket from Dagnall Innovation. The design enables fixed wiring to terminate directly into the back box before wall finishes are applied. This allows for dead testing of the circuit cabling, including continuity of conductors and insulation resistance. Three special live neutral and earth pins are screwed into the threads on either side of the rear of the socket. The earth pin is longer and wider to ensure it connects first. The socket and pin combination is then simply plugged into the back box. Initial feedback for the radical design is positive, but some concerns were raised. Some claim the arrangement, if it uses flying leads, creates a spur, but the inventor, Martin Dagnall, says this is up for debate. He says Appendix 15 doesn't appear to raise any concerns to his approach. The connector is able to accommodate 4mm cables to handle up to 26 amps at the outlet. Some have asked if the design has created higher resistance and more points of failure. Dagnall says that using either of his socket methods, the fixed wiring remains in the same location as the day it was installed. This helps prolong its service life and reduce the risk of failures along the ring final circuit. Finally, some have queried if by using a plug-in socket every time you insert and remove a plug it will create movement. This will in turn result in non-uniform marking and take out an AFDD. Dagnall says the pins used within the plug-in socket are spring-loaded and intended to ensure a solid connection. What's your view? We'd welcome your feedback on this innovation in the comments below. BG is currently marketing its edge-to-edge -edge rocker switches. They feature a full-face switch, a super slim profile, and retain screws to prevent them dropping out mid-install. They come in lots of colours and finishes, including matte black, copper, and pearlescent white. Best of all, they look pretty cool. Selectric has introduced a range of fire-rated back boxes made in flush galvanised steel. These 35mm deep boxes feature a fire-retardant insert, spring-loaded lugs and five 25mm knockouts. They're compliant with all national and international standards, including acoustic requirements. Knightsbridge has taken the outdoor double socket to the next level by adding a key fob remote control. The OP9R allows your customer to control garden features such as lighting from the comfort of indoors. The key fob has a range of 30 meters. The socket is rated at IP66 and it can take a max load of 3 kilowatts. And while you're working away on your wiring accessories, you're probably generating a lot of cable waste. The good news is that innovative scrap metal startup Green Cable is expanding again. If you're not familiar with the scheme, it's a new concept where the company delivers a green wheelie bin to your premises or home. There's no contract or service charge. You simply put in your offcuts of twin and earth and other non-ferrous metal, they collect it, they give you money, and that's it. The firm describes itself as the trade scrapyard on wheels. It's now upgraded its fleet and is rolling out the service to more parts of the country. Having extended its service earlier this year to Blackpool, Yorkshire, Surrey and Bedfordshire, we can exclusively announce that Green Cable will be serving Essex, Avon and South Wales from this summer. Hundreds of you on the waiting list have already been contacted to set up your accounts and if you're in those regions and are ready to sign up, head over to greencable.com and get yourself on the list to be visited. I've popped a sign up link in the show notes along with a link to the episode of eFix TV where Ed Nash from Green Cable joined us. He was a great sport and it's worth a watch. Now, back to wiring accessories. Last week's live stream was a cracker. We hosted the CED Electrical Group and they brought along an absolutely brilliant bit of kit for an eFix World exclusive. It's the MagCharge, a new socket outlet with a built-in point for charging your phone truly wirelessly. For phones featuring wireless charging, you can simply place your phone onto the circular pad and it'll start to charge while being held in place by magnets. It's aiming to be available in October and it's given us a taste of the innovation that's starting to come out of the CED stable. We look forward to bringing you more on that when it's launched. We also checked out a load of the other gear that they offer, including the now 25 of consumer units, 
click the link in the show notes to see what that's all about. Next up, we're heading over to RetroTouch there. Aura Range offers a modular design-led solution for modern interiors, featuring interchangeable metal finish covers in black, nickel, brass, and bronze. The two-part system allows aesthetic updates without rewiring. Designed in the UK, the Aura Range combines style, sustainability, and practicality with a 10-year warranty on electrical parts. Ideal for evolving tastes and interior refreshes, it's a flexible choice for homeowners and designers alike. It's a seriously good-looking range and well worth checking out. This week's question of the week is taken from our free training package on wiring accessories from the Luceco Group. We asked, according to table H2 in the on-site guide, what is the maximum floor area an A3 final can supply? The options were 25, 50, 75 and 100 square metres. The answer was, of course, 50 square metres. Just 29% of YouTubers ticked the right box, while a healthier 38% of LinkedIn has got it right. Yet another win for the Blues, but also a pretty clear indication that we, as a group, need to check out that wiring accessory CPD from BG. You'll find a link to that in the show notes. That's our Electrical News Weekly Roundup of products or people that we think deserve some attention. Next time, we're overseeing cable management. Now, a big shout out to our learner of the week, Katie Firth, whose Instagram identity is Electrozone Electrical UK. It's inspiring to see the level of dedication that she's bringing to her journey in the industry. Katie has built up impressive knowledge, particularly around portable appliance testing. What's even more impressive is her genuine passion for safe isolation, something we're always keen to see championed in the industry. She's been making the most of our CPD packages too, as well as other free training content which shows a real hunger for growth and self-improvement. Congratulations Katie, we look forward to seeing your impact on the trade. And a reminder that there's still time to win a pair of tickets for the Oasis reunion in the Schneider Electric promo. The company is offering two premium club hospitality tickets in its What's the Story promotion. The Oasis tickets offer some of the best seats in the stadium and access to exclusive bars. You'll also get Oasis merch and a £50 Uber voucher to get you home afterwards. Runner-up prizes are pretty cool too. They include Ticketmaster and Apple Music gift cards in values from 50 quid to 250 quid. To enter, spend 250 quid on Schneider products at participating wholesalers and you'll receive an entry ticket. Simply scan the QR code on your competition entry ticket to access the entry form. The competition closes at the end of June 2025. And our usual reminder that we're in the market for your stories, your projects, and your recommendations, as we'd like to share them with the wider Refix community. So send us pictures of your installs, or let us know if you've come across any new kit or companies that's making your job easier, or any products that you think deserve a shout out. And just before we get to your favourite bit of the show where I reveal last week's challenge words and winners, we want to thank our premium partners. We couldn't make the news without you. First up, they're the people who've created the Swiss Army Knife of solar inverters along with all weather batteries, very much the boy scouts of the solar industry, it's Sunsync. Doubling down on terminal screws in their top quality circuit protection products and building innovative isolating units with built-in surge protection, it's Whitecliffe Electrical Distribution. Next, with deep commitments to the economy, the environment and the electrical community, there's so much more than an electrical distributor, the self-styled experts in shifting boxes, it's Nyglon. And empowering their customers to harness power through light with their intelligent energy solutions, solar technology and advanced lighting systems, it's Leadvance. In an age of energy uncertainty, if you're looking for your next EV charge point to install, then helping you charge into the future with confidence, powering the future together, it's Rolex. And now suspend your disbelief like you suspend a cable tray. If you need to get any piece of building services equipment into the air and keep it there, then check out ZipClip. With their new award-winning Lumo consumer unit and offering complete product support from their highly trained team, it's CPN QDIS, and with over 5,000 product lines from heating, lighting, ventilation to wiring accessories, if you need it, they've got it. It's Electrical Distributor CED Group. Don't forget to use the code EFIX30 to claim your 30% discount on top quality light fittings from Philips and Ecolink. Download the Lumexpert app today and make your life easier and less expensive. It's the light of our lives, Signify. And the best thing to come out of Yorkshire since stainless steel, the home of EV Ultra and other groundbreaking and quality products, it's Doncaster Cables. Click the links in the show notes to find out more about these great brands. If you think you know the words that I've smuggled into this week's show, pop your guess into the comments. We'll take all the correct guesses and select one at random to be the winner of an eFix goodie bag prize. Answers submitted after about lunchtime on the Thursday after release will not be entered into the draw. Now let's reveal the winner of last week's challenge word competition. Last week's words were salmon and fly fishing and as far as I can see absolutely no one got it right on any platform. Bit of a shocker that one. So instead of announcing a winner I'll just say hello to a viewer I met at the installer show last week whose name I got spectacularly wrong the week that he did win a prize. He very kindly taught me how to say it right so a big thank you to 
Here goes, Mircha. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for watching and giving me what I hope is now the correct pronunciation. Thanks for listening to this episode of Electrical News Weekly. Make sure you subscribe to receive the next update. Thanks for listening, and until next time, have a great week. Stay safe out there, and remember, there's no such thing as a taut calibrated arm.